Hey kids, January 27th, early in the morning, 2011. Um, below is a link to an article. GOP invokes 1700s doctrine in healthcare fight. Idaho, Boise, Republican lawmakers in nearly a dozen states are reaching into the dusty annals of American history to fight President Obama's health care overhaul. They are introducing measures that hinge on nullification. Thomas Jefferson's late 18th century doctrine that purported to give states the ultimate say in constitutional matters. GOP lawmakers introduced such massive, uh, such a measure Wednesday in Idaho House, Alabama, Kansas, Maine, Missouri, Montana, Oregon, Nebraska, Texas, and Wyoming are also talking about the idea. And the article goes on, you could read it. Um, for those who don't know, the Kentucky Resolutions of 1798 and 1799 uh, were authored by Thomas Jefferson for the legislature of the state of Kentucky. Um, there's a cat here, don't mind me. The idea was when John Adams uh, signed the Alien and Sedition Acts, which there's there's a story in and of it at itself too, because everybody thinks that he was out to take everybody's rights away and there's a story behind the story on that that people don't know. So let's not be so quick to hang John Adams, but we'll discuss John Adams on another day. But uh, Thomas Jefferson turned around and uh, he wrote these Kentucky resolutions for this, the legislature in Kentucky. The idea being is that uh, the states have the ultimate say, and if the general government, which today we call the federal government, uh, oversteps its bounds, then it is the right of the state to nullify such unconstitutional law. Now, I'm not going to get into the issue of whether or not nullification is unconstitutional <laughs> in and of itself, but it does bring up a good point. You know, if, if any one of the states just turned around and said, yeah, we're just not going to do this, What's what the federal government going to do? What could the federal government do? They're going to drag him before the Supreme Court? So you get sued in court. You get a judgment sent against you, you have to comply. And the state says, yes, yeah, screw you, I'm still not complying. Oh, we're going to suspend all tax disbursements towards your state for roads and schools and whatnot. Okay, we're just going to refuse to pay the federal income tax then. Your point? What can they do? I mean, at some point, I would imagine the federal government would call it an act of successionism. But even then, what can the United States really, really do? Are they going to invade a state that went rogue because the states turned around and said, no, we're not going to do your bidding for you? I'm just curious. I'm just throwing this out there for discussion. I want to hear some educated and thoughtful uh, responses in the comments down below. I'm really curious what the federal government would do if if the state of Idaho turned around and said, yeah, we're not doing this no more. What would the federal government really can do? That's all. Till next time. Peace. God bless you all. And God bless the republic.